A glittering cast assembled for the always highly anticipated book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sales, which kicked off with 5 million guinea lots and a session topping price of 3.4 million guineas, the highest price paid anywhere in the world this year for a yearling so far. It was lot 109, a Galileo cult out of Shastai that stole the headlines on day one. The Newsels Park stud Money Spinning Mare regularly features amongst the list of top lots, having been responsible for this cult's sister Secret Gesture and brother Sir Isaac Newton. A recent Group 2 win for juvenile brother Japan added further fuel to the bidder's fire, with Japanese trainer Mitsu Nakaoshida entering the battle late on, before eventually surrendering to the might of Coolmore's MV Magnia. Wonderful result, the whole team is delighted and I have to say the team did a fantastic job. It was always a beautiful horse, but of course the price is much more than what normal people could afford for beautiful horses. And how did this model compare to others out of the mare? Uh, well, listen, I think this one was uh, more powerful, more robust, uh, much stronger physically, but also in his will. So um, I, I think for good reasons he is probably the best yearling at this time compared to all the, the previous full brothers and sisters. In the last 24 hours I think everybody was looking at this horse at least once, um, most of the big bidders twice. So we knew that he's super popular, uh, but in my wildest dreams I wouldn't have expected a price like this. The million guineas mark was broken for the first time in the day, just 28 lots into the sale, by another offering by the multiple champion sire Galileo in the Glenvale stud half-sister to Group 1 winner Garswood, who sold to the US-based Emmanuel de Saru for 1.2 million guineas. She was a beautiful filly, a great mover. She has, she's by Galileo, needs no introduction. She's from a great family, so we have uh, high hopes. She may stay in training in Europe because we believe that uh, Galileos have done very well here and there, obviously, and they are more suited to European racing, so she may very well stay here. The day's leading consigners, Newsels Park Stud, enjoyed another box office lot earlier in the day when a colt by Galileo out of Posset, a full sister to champion race mare Midday, was knocked down to Stroud Coleman Bloodstock for 1.1 million guineas. Bred by Judmont, Posset was purchased by breeder John Gunter at the Tattersall's December sale in 2014 for 625,000 guineas. And adds to the list of successes for the US-based Gunter, who bred both Triple Crown winner Justify and the St James's Palace Stakes winner without parole. Always a beautiful colt the day he came out of the mum. And um, he's just been a, you know, very straightforward to do. We've been an enormous privilege to, to do him. He's just a lovely horse, beautiful horse, very athletic great pedigree by the world's best sire so what can you not like you can never budget for them making him a million but we thought he'd make half a million plus and if everything fell right there was always a chance he'd make a million so you know we were lucky enough that we had uh, Kumar bidding against Sheikh Mohammed once that happened I thought there was a chance and it was it was lovely for them they were they were thrilled obviously because they really love the colt and they're not afraid to race their horses as they've done very successfully with without parole amongst others so they're delighted that he's gone to a good home and they, they got a fair price for him which is great 1.1 million guineas was the price also paid by Stroud Coleman Bloodstock for lot 113, a Dubawi cult out of the Group 1 place Scirocco Star, consigned by Mion Valley Stud. Purchaser of the session's top lot MV Magnia added lot 112 to his haul of five lots for the day when going to 1,050,000 guineas for a Kingman cult from Kilmanfoil Stud. Bought as a foal last December for 135,000 guineas, the Langton stud bred offering was a record-breaking pinhook success for Michael Fitzpatrick's operation, who landed the offering by the Tsar of Calix and Sangarius as a foal with their final bid, only to register their biggest pinhook success to date just 10 months later. He was just a very athletic walking horse and he had size and scope and strength. And I bought him here in Tattersalls last year off of Giles Waits, the breeder. Uh, he's a very good breeder, so it gives you extra confidence buying off a good breeder. He just kept continuing to grow and strengthen, and uh, Kingman, the sire, has just really taken off over the last few months, which was a big plus. Uh, every vendor ha always has very conservative expectations, and we hope for the best, but it, it can happen here in Tattersall's, you know, huge results. Sold and sold at a million fifty. MV Magnier and team, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. I hope he's very lucky for you.